Hi, my name is Jenny and I'm on the search engine marketing team at Shipple. Today we're going to talk about your website's navigation. Your navigation is how your visitors are getting around your website, so naturally you want to make sure it's working for both you and your visitors. It's a good idea to take a step back and analyze your navigation structure every 6 to 12 months as your priorities change and you get more data about how visitors are interacting with your site. We're going to start by going to Google Analytics to take a look at how visitors are interacting with our site now. This will give us an idea of what might need to change. The first thing you can do is pull up your top content, and it's defaulted to sort by page views. If you're seeing certain pages that are getting a lot of visits that are really not key pages, then you may want to rethink your navigation structure. For this particular website, we're seeing that the staff page, the about page, um, careers, all of these are in the top and these are not that important, we would prefer to see their services pages and more contact pages. And there is a contact page on the four spot, but we would like to see the request for services page also in the top. Another way to view how people are interacting with your site is to click into the navigation summary tab. So we're still in the content section and just scroll up to the navigation summary. It defaults to the home page as you see here. And on the left side are the previous page paths. So these are the pages that were visited before going to your home page. They don't always land on your home page. And then on the right, these are your page paths that occurred after clicking to your home page. And again, we're seeing less important pages in the top, such as staff, careers, about us. Um, and we'd rather see service type pages and contact pages. So this is how the website looked before we made edits. You can see that the navigation order is in line with the top content that we were seeing in Google Analytics. We recommended to the client that they break out the services section into separate nav items and also move the request for services form page into its own nav item since it was buried in this dropdown. And we can see the after. So now we have each of the services in their own nav item as well as the request for services pulled out into its own nav item and we added a utility nav for maybe less important pages as well as adding the phone number and this is in text form so it's clickable from mobile devices. I wanted to point out that we generally read in an F pattern and so we want to order our nav items with that in mind and also be descriptive when naming our nav items. So rather than just saying services, we would say web marketing services. So here's an overview of tips for restructuring your navigation. Use analytics to determine which content is most important to your visitors. Make sure the most important items are top level nav items. Order items so the most important items read left to right. Use a utility navigation for logistics that don't need to be in the main nav. Use descriptive words in titles. I hope that was helpful for you guys and good luck restructuring your navigation.